Welcome back. Time to talk weather once again with Cody Proctor. Yesterday was the first day of spring. Yes. Felt like spring. Today, even better. Even better. And even tomorrow, that could be one of our best days. Nice. But even though it's spring, there's some of that winter weather kind of hanging around. Like you said, March Madness, right? The, the real March Madness. <laughs> well, we're moving away from the court to our forecast, but take a look at this view right now as we check out Lake Coeur d'Alene at the moment. Just how gorgeous it is outside. There are some areas with some clouds out there, but for the most part, just beautiful as we head into the rest of our Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Right now, as we take a look at our current temperatures, 55 degrees over at the Spokane Airport. Winds are calm at this time and around the inland northwest, we're mostly in those 50s right now, tracking the mid 50s for both Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Right now up at OMAC, you're at 59 degrees, Sandpoint 52, Pullman right now at 51 degrees. Now for our winds, for the most part, relatively calm to light. One of our breeziest spots at the moment is actually Coeur d'Alene with 13 mile per hour winds as we head into this evening. And the last few hours, we've been seeing that sunshine around our area. Just it's been a beautiful day. Finally feeling like spring, but again, there are some changes in our forecast. We're looking to stay sunny as we head into tomorrow with highs mostly up into the mid 50s. Towards the end of the week, we start to see a chance for some showers. Of course, it is that spring season. We might potentially also see some snow showers mixed in with there as well. Temperatures looking to dip back down to more of those 40s as we head into your Thursday, your Friday and towards the weekend. Now we're watching with that weather pattern right here as we take a look at that next system moving into our region. That's looking to bring us that chance for some precipitation into our forecast could also bring us some more active weather. Again, that chance for some rain showers might also get to be a bit breezy at times. And as we head towards Friday, we might just see more of that chance for some snow showers mixing it as well. So here's what we're watching as we head into the next 72 hours. We start to see more of that heading into um, Spokane and to Coeur d'Alene into Thursday, but it's not look like it's going to be much. We start to see more of that precipitation up into the mountains of the Panhandle and over on the west side. So we might get more of a small amount of some precipitation. But for the next 48 hours, enjoy your Wednesday because it's looking to be pretty clear throughout the entire inland northwest. So if you need to do that yard work or just want to enjoy some time outside and walk the dog or even just read outside, tomorrow might be your best day. But we start to see that chance for those showers moving in, especially as we head into our Thursday morning. So keep that in mind as you head to head to work on Thursday as well. Our overnight lows for tonight look to be mostly into those 20s. Some places might still be in the low 30s. Highs tomorrow, though, enjoy those mid 50s as we head into the rest of your Wednesday. Some places might track them to the low 60s. But again, that seven day forecast showing that we're seeing those changes. The weekend looking to be a bit cooler than your Wednesday. Look at that. All right, Cody, thank you very much.